Hi everyone, my name is Becky and I am the Education Programs Manager for the National Eagle Center and I'm going to be uh, sharing this episode of Adventures in Eagle Territory with you today and I'm going to be focusing on eagle eyes. Uh, so this is actually a pre-recorded video because I am primarily working from home these days. Uh, so um, this is not a live video like a lot of these episodes have been, um, but please do feel free to um, still leave comments or questions um, in the comment section of this video um, because we, I still want to be able to answer those questions for you. So myself or another staff member will definitely be watching these. Um, those those comments and answering those. So thanks again for joining me today. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about eagle eyes because of course eagles are a type of bird that we call a raptor um, or ra uh, and by raptor I mean a bird of prey or a bird that hunts other animals for food. So their vision, that heightened sense of vision is really important for a raptor to be able to find their prey. And you've probably heard that expression of eagle eyes or eyes like a hawk um, in regards to uh, describing somebody with really good eyesight. Um, but let's just take this opportunity to really clarify what it means to have eagle eyes. So if you look at this photo here, this is going to give us the opportunity to compare our eyesight to an eagle's eyes. So this is actually a photo that was taken from the outdoor observation deck at the National Eagle Center um, overlooking the Mississippi River. Um, and then uh, you can, of course, see across the river that first row of uh, that first tree line. And then behind that tree line in the distance, there's the bluffs of Wisconsin. And those bluffs are actually three miles away over near Nelson, Wisconsin, so three miles away from Wabasha. And so with our human eyes, we can actually see those bluffs three miles away pretty clearly, but we believe that the eagles who live at the National Eagle Center, looking at this same view from this same point, are actually able to spot a rabbit running across an open ridge on one of those bluffs three miles away. And actually, it's estimated that an eagle can spot its prey if it's moving on open land from a distance of three to five miles. Now, if there's a fish swimming in the top five to six inches of water, it's estimated that an eagle could probably spot that from about a mile away. So I don't know from how far up this photo was, this aerial photo was taken, this is of the, um, of an aerial photo of Wabasha um, and the Mississippi River and some of the backwaters in this area. So from this vantage point, I am able to see the National Eagle Center, which I've circled or uh, put a yellow box around. I can see a boat creating some wake as it travels down the river. And I can also just barely make out what I think are probably a couple of channel markers, those little white dots. Um, in the distance, but I've only identified those as channel markers really because I know that there happen to be a couple of there at, of them at that particular location. So I could even be wrong on that. Um, but what I don't see are any fish. Do you see any fish? I don't think so. So how can eagles see so much better than humans can? So you've probably heard of a human with really good or perfect vision having 20-20 vision. So that's a visual acuity measurement of 20-20 vision. An eagle with that same scale has a, has vision of a visual acuity, acuity of 24 or 25. And that is um, largely because of the way that an eagle's eye is structured just a little bit differently than a human's. So, Obviously, they are, um, have some different shape, but what I'm going to focus on, um, first of all, is the retina of an avian eye or of an eagle eye specifically, and the fovea. So the retina of an eye is basically this layer of tissue along the backside of the eye. And that retina is covered in photoreceptors or uh, cells that receive light. And in the fovea, there's actually a large concentration of a particular type of photoreceptor or light receiving cell called a cone. And 
you can see that the both the human eye and the avian eye have a retina, have this fovea, but what you can't see from this particular diagram, because I think it might be hard to depict in 2D, um, and that is that eagles actually have two sets of fovea in their eye. So what that allows for is um, it gives an eagle both monocular and binocular vision. So with that monocular vision, that means that an eagle can focus one eye on an object on one side of their head while they focus the other eye on another object on the other side of their head at the same time. And that's going to give them a very wide field of vision, which of course comes in really handy for a predator that's looking for prey while they're flying around way high up in the sky. That allows them to scan a very wide area of the landscape for prey. But then once they find that particular source of prey, so um, a fish or a rabbit or whatever it might happen to be, then they can use that second set of fovea and switch to that binocular vision. And then that's using two eyes to focus on one object which is what the human eye can do. If you were to stick your finger in front of your face both and look at it, both of your eyes would focus on that one object. So two eyes on one object is that binocular vision. And that comes in handy for a predator like an eagle when they are trying to dive towards their prey with more pinpoint accuracy. Another really cool thing about an eagle eye is that they actually have a, a an additional type of cone or photoreceptor in their eye that humans do not have. So that actually allows them to have, uh, be able to see a more, a, a broader spectrum of colors. So eagles can actually see in light in the UV spectrum. So you can see here in this photo, the bracket of colors that humans can see versus birds, um, and in particular, and eagles as well. So being able to see that UV light is also really important, a really handy thing for a predator because uh, that allows them to actually be able to see highlighted um, urine trails and blood trails, which is, makes it that more efficient for them to actually be able to track prey. Um, because an eagle, especially a, in particular a bald eagle, is considered an opportunistic predator. So that means their favorite form of prey is something that is already dead, which means if they don't have to catch it, they don't have to kill it, it saves them a lot of energy. So that is going to be the most efficient use of, of their energy is finding prey like that. And so being able to see those UV, the UV light actually uh, makes that uh, more efficient as well. Uh, so there's just a few more real quick, really interesting features about eagle eyes. Uh, the top photo, here you can see that there's this weird looking membrane that's across this eagle's eye, and that is actually a second uh, eyelid, um, so or maybe considered a third uh, eyelid. They do have the two lids, like ours, that can close um, and blink for sleeping, but that second set, that lid that you're seeing there is called a nictitating membrane. And what that is for um, is to kind of sweep very quickly across the eagle's eyes to keep it free of dust and also to kind of spread out um, the secretions of the eye. And um, one of those secretions is actually an oil that when it covers the eagle's eye is actually gives it this polarized effect. So you can see those sun, that photo of those sunglasses, those polarized sunglasses um, that humans can wear to help cut down even more on the glare in the sun. Fishermen will often wear polarized sunglasses so that they can see a little bit deeper into the water um, and be able to see those fish, which you could definitely see why that would be handy for an eagle. And then this uh, third photo here is of this eagle that looks like it's kind of scowling at us, which we often hear eagles, people saying that eagles seem to always look like they're grumpy or angry, but eagles actually don't have facial expressions. What that actually, what that's actually showing is that an eagle does have this ridge called a suborbital ridge 
um, right above their eye that kind of acts like the visor of a baseball hat to also help kind of keep the glare, keep the sun out of their eyes. So I'm gonna do one more test to help compare your vision to the vision of an eagle. So you've probably been to the eye doctor and seen an eye chart that looks kind of like this photo. So I'm gonna have an eye chart here in this blank white space. And we're gonna kind of scroll through it as the words appear. Um, I'm actually gonna have you read those words and it's going to actually give us a little bit of a message to teach us to compare our eyesight to an eagle. So first word, do you think your eyes are as sharp as eagle eyes. If you can read the bottom line from across the room, then you have eagle eyes. So I want you to go ahead, hit pause on this video, stand all the way across the room. I'm talking at least 20 feet, not just a few feet, but at least 20 feet away from the sign and see if you can read that bottom line. That is what we believe an eagle with 24, 25 vision could do if they could read, of course. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Adventures in Eagle Territory. You can tune in to Facebook Live um, or to our Facebook webpage every day at 1 p.m. to see more of these episodes or go on YouTube to see some of the past episodes as well. And during this time, if you'd like to help, um, uh, help the eagles that we are still caring for even during the midst of uh, being closed to the public, um, you can actually go to our website nationaleaglecenter.org where you can either submit a donation online or you can even become a member and so that way when we are able to mingle safely together again and reopen um, if you become a member and you come and visit us you get free admission so hopefully we're really of course hoping that that haps, happens safely soon um, so thanks again for joining me and i uh, hope everybody has a great rest of their day